right, I got a special treat for you, and I want you to bear in mind that you're going to see this in the edited version. Usually I do these videos, so uh, I like to, you know, be surprised right along with you, so I see these things for the first time, generally. Not this time. This is going to be different. Right there in the center, you'll see a diatom, a oval-shaped diatom with that uh, roundish green dude floating around next to him. See? moving around there. Well, the diatom is stationary, and you would think it's not alive, but it is. It's very, very much alive. I've already poked around at very high power, and uh, and is very much cellularly active, and that's why I want to do this. Um, I'm going to take you through the range of magnifications from base level all the way up to maximum oil immersion, and uh, show you yeah, <laughs> sort of like a zooming in effect. So here we go, base level power. Um, you can see the algae and everything. Uh, let me shift the focus a little so you can get an idea what all's there. Strands of algae all around, various diatoms, some protozoans in motion, and of course our centered diatom. Okay, now we've moved in a step, and there's our diatom right there, recentered. And now you can just barely start to see that inside the structure of the diatom there is a faint flickering kind of motion. It's either a massive bacteria moving around in there, or it's the organelles that make up the creature. I don't know. That's what we're going to find out. Now you can see more detail on the algae as well. Yeah, aren't they pretty? Quite neat. There's a long diatom there. You can see, and also some thread-like, what I believe are probably bacteria, like those whip-like things that were in the other video. Um, and there's a diatom in motion there. But, again, we're focusing on this guy right in the center. Now you can see clearly there's a lot of motion going on in there. See all that? It's interesting because I've not seen this in any of the other diatoms, just this guy. And that's why I'm so keen on this. I want to see what's going on in there. Next stop, oil immersion, full blast, very high power. Here we go. Okay, I'm very near the target. Uh, let me move around just a bit, see if I can find him, him or it, whatever. It's always best to leave gender out of these things. Ah, here we are. Bring it in focus, carefully, that was past focus actually. Oh wow, look at the detail, damn. I never expected that. Not that sheer level of detail to me. Adjust the uh, condenser. And there we go. Damn. That's what oil immersion is all about. Extreme quality of image. Not, ca not achievable achievable that cannot be achieved by uh, conventional means only oil immersion optics can can do this well with regular lenses beyond that you have to get into uh, electron microscopy this is as good as it ever gets optically not bad huh not bad at all. 
Well, look at all the stuff in there. I don't know what all that is. Like I said, I have not seen this in uh, other diatoms, but then, I don't know, I'm just doing my preliminaries on these water samples, so there's going to be things that I have not seen before. And for as long as I've had the scope, I haven't really taken it as far as I should have. I haven't done as much work with it as I should have. Uh, there's his innards. Now, it could be a bacterial infection that killed the diatom and it's now overgrowing inside, which is why I haven't seen it in others. Or, this could be a certain type of diatom that has a certain type of organelles inside it and uh, therefore is a different kind of critter entirely. I just don't really know. Uh, whatever the case, um, pretty interesting. Very nice. I could do this oil immersion stuff all night. Anyway, better stop this before it gets bigger than what I can process into a YouTube video. Because that is Final Destination. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. There's a very, very fun example of uh, oil immersion and why it is so important to not limit yourself to non-oil immersion when working with an optical microscope. That's what you miss. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Take care, and bye for now.